In 2015, two students invented a door handle which sanitizes itself. The way that works is that the handle is coated in a bacteria killing mineral and its effect is enhanced by the UV light. Pretty effective and amazing idea of course. But unfortunately, the self-sanitizing door handle isn't available for purchase or installation at this point. So today's video is a very special video because as an engineer myself, when the world is in a chaos, I must develop a device which not only helps to control the spread of, yeah, I can say the name because of some YouTube policy. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But you see, door handles can be the root cause of this disease. So check my this little gadget. It's also an automatic door handle sanitizer. After every 30 minutes, it sprays a mixture of Dettol and water onto the handle, which will kill all the germs including... Anyway, the device is not very complex to recreate thanks to the ease of using Arduino as its brain. Refilling of the liquid is also very simple. Just open the box, take out the border, refill it and put it back in. Super easy. So without wasting any more time, let's see how to make it. Here is the list of things you will need for this project. First of all, obviously an Arduino board. You can use any Arduino like Arduino Uno, Mega, Mini etc. I'm having this Arduino Nano, so I'll use this one. Next thing you will need is a servo motor, like this Altron 750MG. A 4 cell battery holder which makes a total of 6 volts in the end. Next is a small spray bottle like this one or some other laying around in your home which can fit in a box. I'm utilizing this project box but again you can use any kind of box. At last some male to female hookup wires to connect the servo to the Arduino. If you are new into electronics and certainly wants to recreate this project then don't worry I will list all the bilinks of the components and the circuit diagram in the description of this video. Now for startup, let me give you an overview about what Arduino is and how it will control the servo motor. In simple words, Arduino is just a microcontroller which can perform different tasks or you can say generate different signals depending on what you say in the form of coding. So if I say that make the servo to stay at 0 degree position and after let's say 2 seconds rotate the servo to 60 degree position. Then after uploading this code with the help of computer in the Arduino, as you can see that the servo motor is moving exactly like what we have intended. Now let's modify this code to move the servo from 0 degree to 60 degree after every 30 minutes. Perfect. But... I have to tell this to you. You see when I power the whole setup with cells, it consumes like 40 milliamp of current which will drain my 19,000 milliamp hour any loop cells in just 2 days. Hmm. Oh yes, don't worry, I have a solution. I'll use Arduino low power mode, which will put the Arduino in the sleep mode after every rotation. Moreover, I'll also disconnect the status LED to save a bit of power, and this time, the current is around 6 milliamp, which will give us a battery run time of 13 days. Not ideal, but I think it's good enough. Now after all this insanity, let's put everything in the enclosure. I'm using hot glue to secure everything, but you can use any sort of glue, it's not compulsory. Next I drilled a hole in front of the spray bottle. When you're done with attaching all the components, fill up the bottle with 3 parts of water and 1 part of the toe. Yeah, I googled that, this mixture will kill the germs. Mm, but for, you know, satisfaction you can also use some rubbing alcohol or something else. Afterwards, put the bottle in its place and then close the top curve with screws. Now after attaching the device with the help of double tape onto a door, our project is complete. But later, I realized that the hole I had created for the spray was actually too small, so I enlarged it a bit. At last, if you think that it could save some lives, 
then maybe you should give this project a try and install it on your doors, especially main doors. Also, if you like this project, then please click the like button. And if you're new here, then consider subscribing my channel. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.